Don't you guys hate it when you try to make landing gear and stuff like this happens? Yeah, me too. That's going to be showing you guys how to make it like this. That was impressive, wasn't it? Let's cut to the video, shall we? Hey guys, TinyScaleYT here, and in today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you guys how to set piston limits. So, let's get started. First, you're going to need your base, so let's just make a simple base, a 8x8 base. Now we're going to need a seat, because we're going to have to control this. So, place a seat anywhere that you like. Alright. Now, go to Mechanic, get a piston. And then just place a piston anywhere on the platform. Alright. Now select configure. Get rid of the controls. Set the speed to anything below 50. So let's do a uh, 3 for this example. Alright. So the start position is going to be the max length in this case. So, if we want the piston to extend to half length, and that to be the max, we would have to do 0.5 for the start position. Alright, and now enable auto reset. Exit out of that. Alright, so now we're going to need a constant output, so we're going to go to logic. We're going to go to distance sensor. You can face this in any direction as long as it's connected to the platform. Click configure. Set this to invert trigger and the distance to zero. Yeah, I'll select that with that. Alright, now we're gonna need an X or a gate. So we're gonna place one right here. Make sure that's facing in any direction as long as it's connected to the platform. Now click the distance sensor. Connect this into the X or gate. And now for this, set the output to negative one and connect this to the piston. All right. And now um, you could do this or you could do this next part by clicking configure and then setting a, um, a key bind for this, but the toggle won't work. So for that, we're going to use an or gate. Faces any direction, as long as connected to the platform. Alright, and now click configure. Put this into the X or gate because this is going to be our control to turn this on and off. And now go for this keybind, the positive keybind. Set this to, um, I guess anything, but for this example, I'm going to use space. And we're also going to use toggle. So once we exit out of build mode, you see, the piston is going to be um, at its uh, minimum position because we have the constant negative input going into, into the piston. So now when we press space, as you can see, it extends to half length. This can be used with many things, as you saw by the preview. It can be used for landing gear. About only landing gear and extending wheels out. So, if you guys found this tutorial useful, make sure to like and subscribe. And this has been Tony Scale YT with a really quick tutorial. And I will see you guys later. Peace!